Hello and welcome back to my craft room. Well, it is a whoo, sweltering hot day here in Norfolk, UK. We've suddenly gone from, I think on Thursday, so it's Monday today, on Thursday it was still 15 degrees here. Not exactly chilly, but not exactly that warm either. Today it's 26 degrees and it feels hotter because it's really humid. It's really strange. Apparently we're in for some thunderstorms later, which is great because I love thunderstorms. Anyway, so we've been out for a lovely walk at a local National Trust property called Blickling. Um, if you've ever been to this part of the world, you might have been there. It's lovely. Beautiful woodland walks and a lovely old house to look around, a kitchen garden. Had a lovely time. Got home, found a couple of parcels. Now, one of one I was expecting, kits that I'm packing up, I should have them in the shop tomorrow. They'll probably, by the time you see this video, they'll have already gone, <laughs> gone out. Because <laughs> I, I haven't got time to edit this, but I just can't wait to open the parcel. Um, so yeah, I've got these little funky, aren't they cute? Look, the, the eye part of the needle is coloured all, all funky colours. So I thought that was really cute cute to do so i've got uh, some more of them coming um and but there's this parcel now i know it's happy mail because somebody's put this on it and all I, i'm not expecting anything no one's told me that to expect anything so shall we go in and have a look it's got to be something fun because somebody's drawn a funny face on it <laughs> mm. Where is it from? There's no... Oh, hang on, what's that say? <laughs> Packaging can be disposed of, blah, 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 or reused. Who is this from? <gasps> it looks like lovely little slow stitching bits and bobs. And there's a gorgeous... I love using napkins for um, art journaling and stuff, and this is a beautiful one. Let's get in and have a look. Look at this beautiful washi tape. Let's put that up there so I can reuse it for something. What a lovely washi tape that is. Did I show it properly? I'm dying to know who this is from. Oh, look. I bet that's cut. I bet that has got... Oh, look at even this card right up my street. Look. I would, put straight, I would, put, I would just put that straight into a junk journal as a page. Oh, it's from Claire. Oh, thank you, Claire. What oh, sweet of you. She didn't even give me a clue she was sending it. So this is Claire 96 Bell. You'll know her on the um, in, in the Discord community. Um, and I think she's in the Facebook group as well. And you'll know her on Instagram as Claire 96 Bell. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it here. <laughs> she's been doing, she's, she's not long ago started she's only recently started doing art and she's just doing so amazingly well and she's now also got into slow stitching she's just like going great guns with that as well so do check out her instagram account um because she shares some of what she does on there and uh and also we all share things on in the discord as well i'll put um i'll put a link to claire below and i'll put um my link tree because through there you can find a links to the Facebook group if you prefer Facebook and the Discord community which honestly is what I'd recommend because it's just yeah it's just really fun in there <laughs> wow I love this card love that look at all these beautiful goodies I didn't actually read what she put <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Hi Annie just a few bits and pieces I've picked up along the way which I thought you might be able to make use of definitely if not if not, please feel free to re-gift. <laughs> Enjoy. Claire, aka Claire 96 Bell. You can see she she spells her Claire with an E, but it's not it's not with an E in the you know username. But yes, Martin loves his paperclip. <laughs> Ma Martin's a musician, amongst other things. And um, <laughs> so uh, when I I just I just sent some deli papers to Claire just recently, and um, to try for she's trying gel gel plate printing, and. Um, I put a little guitar shaped paper clip in there. <laughs> That's what Martin was, was, would feel left out. Look at these beautiful things. I love these. I have had some of these before. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I want to try them in with my weaving. There's so many things you can do with this, just couching little bits of them down onto a slow stitching project. Oh, beautiful. Just to tie onto the, the rings on a, the, the spine of a, of a junk journal to tie little charms to these are just beautiful and they're made out of recycled silk threads and things absolutely gorgeous they feel really nice as well i've had some that feel can feel quite rough these are quite soft ones 
they're just lovely they just obviously gather up all the uh, trimmings and ends and things and spin them to create these fibers absolutely gorgeous oh what a lovely surprise <laughs> I love the artwork on the envelope, Claire. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Now, just recently I was looking at something. Um, it must have been Claire that had... It must have been. It must have been. It was something that I think it was something Claire had made and she'd used these um, uh, the little scissors and spool buttons on it. And I just thought it was so cute. Oh, look at that one with the black thread. Oh... Aren't they lovely? It strikes me that they'd be fun to use on the little kilt pins that I'm doing from um, Tori's tutorial called Kooky Creatures. Little teeny buttons. Oh, they are absolutely gorgeous. I will thoroughly enjoy using those. Claire, I, I won't be re-gifting them. No, no. <laughs> I suppose if I got two or something, there's a chance one might end up in a, in a little kit or something. But... Oh. <laughs> Mostly where I've been making up the kits, I've tried to use the stuff I bought myself and the things that people have sent me, I'm not putting in the kits. But then Jackie sent me a whole load of fabrics, especially to put in the kits. So that was really helpful. Oh, I'm, oh, I don't, I'm going to look at this. I'm stopping myself looking at this for a minute. There's some real beauties here. Oh, look. Oh, look at these lovely bottoms. She's put some thread on this one, that variegated thread, which is beautiful. And some spare bobbins, really pretty ones. I haven't seen these before. Oh, it's so nice. It's really nice to have uh, bobbins like that. They've got a little slit there for catching the thread in. Oh, lovely. It's so nice to have these little bobbins in, um, to put the thread you're using for a particular project on and keep it, keeping one of my little, my little uh, project wraps or bags. Oh, how gorgeous. I might as well leave that out of there now. Oh look, oh look, look, look. These are these are striking me as um maybe came from bazaar bags, possibly maybe. Oh look. Gorgeous, gorgeousness. <laughs> Go spread balls. Oh look. Beautiful piece of silk there. It's like it looks like a silk scarf, it might be a sari. It feels it's quite a nice weighty one. Oh, look, lovely shiny black one. Oh, and, oh, these are all, these are so handy. They, I make little notes to myself on, on the sticky notes so much. I do it such a lot and then stick them where I can't miss them. Because I've got a head like a sieve. Oh, what a glorious green now. It's a, it's yellower. We're doing better with the colour on camera now, but it's still, this is much yellower than it looks there. Beautiful. Same there, it's looking bluer again. Is it any better if I hold it really near? No. It's a, it is a yellow or green. It looks quite lush in, on the camera as well, but I. But in real life, it's even lusher. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous. These are great big pieces as well. Look at that glorious colour. That's, not, that's coming up pretty well on the camera, actually. That's not bad where it catches the light it loses the colour so where you see the deeper colour in the folds there that's the colour it really is oh lush now what's this this is like a slightly stiff but very thin cotton what do they call it? there's a word for this I can't think what it is is it scrim or is that heavier weight Oh, nice, interesting texture to use to stitch into. Very, very nice, very nice. Pretty kind of sheer, sheer cotton with embroidery on. Oh, look at this flowers there. That's clever how they've done that. Might copy that idea. Gorgeous, got some lovely different textures and colours. This is like a... Uh, a silk like a really soft drapey silk crepe kind of thing I love a pom-pom trim I'm a sucker for a pom-pom trim oh 
Look at that pink and green together and the orange. Oh, look. Now, some greens I don't like near to orange, but that one's all right. It's funny, isn't it? I wouldn't want that next to that, probably. <laughs> it gives me the same feeling as if you put tomato and egg next to each other on a plate. <laughs> They're all on the same piece, but just not next to each other. We're all on the same plate, just not next to each other. Oh, look at these, these are different. I wonder if this is now, Claire was making these amazing little, like a box, like a, like a fabric basket, box, tote, take a little stand-up fabric container with a drawstring at the top, but it stands up freestanding on it, which I thought looked amazing. I wonder if this, this might be, I think she was doing it with some fat quarters she got from the works, I think. Um, I wonder if that's what this was. Yeah, because I, I recognise I love this bee fabric. Oh, I'm going to do something lovely with this. Oh, look, yeah, I reckon these are all from that, um, that fat quarter set that she got because they look like they all coordinate, don't they? Lovely. Really, really love those. Oh. I'm going to be doing my boho dangler soon, so that will be that will be used. That will come in handy for that and the pom poms. I can't wait to get going on that. I've got about I've got four slow stitching projects that I want to get to, um, and can't decide which one to do first. or whether to just do them all at the same time, and some loads of art projects and some other crafty things. Oh. Oh, and look at these. Oh, let's do the last bit of fabric first. That's a nice kind of, do you call it a shot silk? Where you've got, oh, look, you get this different colour depending on. So that's the, which is wrong side, which is right side. Oh, it just makes you think of like a, like a fish or something. Mackerel. Purple and blue and all. Oh, yeah, isn't that gorgeous? And napkins. I love napkins. You can do so many things with them. If you just peel off that top layer, I need to get my fingers sticky with a little bit of glue. <laughs> yeah, you just peel off that top layer. If you then paste that onto like a journal page or whatever, or book cover with um, Mod Podge or, or, or something like that, some kind of matte medium, it just kind of, it's so thin, it just kind of disappears into the page. I love, I love the way it, um, that works and um, and these are really beautiful and there's three of them oh, lovely that's going I've got a special drawer for pretty napkins yeah that's one of my favorite I've ever come across I love that kind of William Morris design wow what a lovely what a lovely surprise <laughs> I was uh, I was having a lovely day anyway and so got home and um, and found that so um it's been uh, that's that's just uh, made my day thank you so much claire that's really really kind of you to do that i wasn't expecting it at all and um and those are all just right up my street those little bits and pieces you know me very well <laughs> uh so i'm gonna crack on get on uh, get those kits finished now you can see the pile growing in the basket behind me um because and then i need to take some photos get them in the etsy shop and make a little film and i'll be back tomorrow well by the time the, by the time I get this film ready to go out, it'll be yesterday. <laughs> okay, I need to I need to have some coffee, and I need to crack on. Claire, thank you so much. I really appreciate that, and um, I will be back really soon to have a play with them and see what I can make with them. I'm gonna I'm gonna they're gonna bring me a lot of joy those bits and pieces. Really appreciate it. Um, so that's it for me for now. I'll stop waffling and crack on. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed that little peek and I'll see you again really soon. Bye.